What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel, Paolo Levy here. Alright, so to guys today, we are going to be doing something very special. So we are going to be doing the first unboxing video for this year on this channel. And today, we are going to be unboxing the Xeon Crane Plus. So the Xeon brand has been very popular for gimbals. As many of you guys know, they have also gimbals for cell phones. The Xeon brand has actually three kinds of gimbals. They have the Xeon Crane V2, the Xeon Crane Plus, and also the Xeon Crane 2. So the Xeon Crane V2 payload is three pounds. Now the Xeon Crane Plus can handle up to five pounds and then the Xeon Crane 2 can handle up to seven pounds. Now guys, I have been in the market for gimbals for quite a while now and since this is going to be my first gimbal i wanted it to be very not professional so i wanted a gimbal that is easy to use since i am not a professional videographer or i haven't had any experience with a gimbal so i did a lot of research and i found out that the crane is actually good for that reason so when i was looking for a gimbal uh, to buy for the very first time i was also there was a lot of factors that i was considering okay the first is of course since i'm going to be using a canon 80d i was looking for a gimbal that can handle the 80d that's why i came to the decision that i was going to get the xeon crane plus all right so now let's open it okay so let's open this so let's set aside the box first okay right, so there you go. One of the reasons that I like this gimbal is because it comes with its own carrying case and this is hard plastic so you know it's gonna be secure and it has a handle on it. The case actually looks uh, good. Material is actually good. It's sturdy so yeah it's good. Let's now open it. Also has this two clips right here like so you can lock it. There. So you're gonna find the manual here. So we have the um, grip. You can actually put this on the handle and you can have more grip on it. This is color white. So we have here, this is the tripod. Here go. This is also one of the reason I choose the uh, Xeon Crane Plus because the Xeon Crane Plus comes with this tripod. Now the Xeon Crane V2 doesn't actually come with a tripod when you buy it you have to buy it separately so that's also a plus here this is the actual gimbal now this is where you put this is the middle of the gimbal this is where you actually put the battery right over there and this is where you attach the tripod comes with two screws this is actually for putting your camera on the gimbal so you're gonna use this and also you have a this is a lens holder so if you have a longer lens this is going to be supporting your long lens if you're ever going to use a long lens this part so this is actually the cable for charging your battery you have here this is a cable for sony and the other one is for panasonic on this box right here you can just flip this up and there is your charger and your battery all right guys now let's try and set it up setting up the Xeon crane is actually very easy first thing you need to do is you just need to get the tripod to set it aside right here now get the uh, this is actually the handle screw it in there like so the church now we're gonna get the actual gimbal this is the actual gimbal guys <laughs> before we do that we need to put the batteries on so boom so guys this is the battery now the um, battery life for the gimbal is 12 hours it's actually one of the reasons why i also got this is because of the battery life <clears throat> We just stick it in there, stick the other one right there, 
Now you just screw the actual gimbal like so. And there it is. Now that you've assembled your gimbal, the next thing you need to do is of course balance it. But <laughs> that's gonna be on another video. Now this is a uh, three axis gimbal, so meaning it has three axes. One, two, and three that you need to balance in order for it to work well. This one, this is for panning. This is the moving from left to right of your camera. And then the next one is your rotate. This is basically when you are rotating your camera. The third one is the tilt, which is this part right here. So basically this is the up and down motion of your camera. Now in order for you to have a very stable shot, you need to make sure that all of those axes are balanced. Since this is just a quick overview, I'm not gonna be showing you guys how to balance it. I'm probably gonna do... Now just comment down below guys if you do want another or a separate video on how to balance this gimbal or how to balance gimbals. And I would basically yeah, do another video about balance. Alright guys, now that I've balanced the gimbal, now in order for you to turn it on, you basically just need to press the this icon right here. Hold it for 3 seconds. And there you go, it's now on. Controls right here is, uh, you have your joystick right here. You can actually control the tilt and the panning right over here. You have your mode button to control the modes and the power on off right there. So the first time you turn it on, it's gonna be on the and follow mode. So what that means is that basically it's just going to follow your left and right movement like so. And then the tilt is going to be locked as you can see from here. So if you press it once, it's going to go to lock mode as you can see. I'm moving and it's still on the same position. It's on lock mode. And then if you press it twice, I'm going to do the all follow mode which is going to be so it's gonna follow your pan and also your tilt as you can see it also has a selfie mode if you press the button the mode button right here if you press it three times it's going to do the selfie mode right there now if you want to put it back you just press it three times again there you go so there's actually another mode that this gimbal is actually famous for. This is, it's called the uh, Dutch angle mode, which is basically, if you press it twice and then just hold on the second uh, press. There you go. It's gonna go to this mode, which is called the Dutch angle mode. Then if you press it once, it's gonna go back to the pan follow mode. Alright guys, boom. Guys, there you have it. Those are the modes that the uh, Xeon Crane Plus has. And there you go. So guys, the link for this, I actually got this from Amazon and the link is gonna be down below on the description. If you guys wanna check it out, this is right now, is actually retailing for $499. So if you want to check that out, you just click the link on the description. So guys, one of the cool features of the Xeon Crane Plus is you can actually connect it to your phone. You just need to download the uh, Xeon Play right over here. There you go. So we are going to pick the Xeon Crane Plus right there. Open your Bluetooth. So they actually have a lot of the devices here. They have the uh, Crane 3 Lab, you know, the um, Crane 2. As you can see from here, 
you can actually control it just press remote control and you can actually control the gimbal there you go as you can see guys I can control it just by using the phone so there you have it guys this is the uh, unboxing and, and just a quick overview of the CM Crane Plus so I really do recommend it as a first gimbal if you haven't had any gimbals yet or you want to purchase one I really suggest or recommend that you get the Xeon Crane Plus. It's very lightweight, very easy to use and out of usable modes. So if you are in the market, I really do suggest the Xeon Crane Plus. So guys, if you did like this video, just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.